boys and girls. My name is Miss Paula and I'm coming to you from the Royalton Library in the state of Vermont. Well, we've got an awfully nice book today. It's called Moon Game. And here's some pictures. I don't know why they've got them here, but I bet that's going to be in the story. One day, Little Bird showed Bear a new game. Well, there's Bear. There's Little Bird. It's called Hide and Seek. First, he told Bear to hide and counted to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then, he went looking for Bear. I found you! chirped Little Bird when he found Bear hiding behind some bushes. Now it's your turn to find me. All day long, until the sun went down, Bear and Little Bird played their new game. You can tell the sun's gone down. Here it is earlier. And it's almost night time. That night, when Bear was all alone, he looked up in the sky and said to the moon, Let's play hide and seek. First, I'll hide and you find me. Hmm. Then Bear ran as fast as he could until he came to an old hollow tree. That means there's a hole in the, in the trunk. Climbing inside, he ducked down so the moon couldn't see him. Bear waited for a while. Then he poked his head up. When he did, the moon was right there, looking down at him. Okay, said Bear, you found me. Now it's your turn to hide. Closing his eyes, Bear began to count, just as Little Bird had shown him. At that moment, a gentle breeze slowly hid the moon behind a big cloud. When Bear finished counting, he set out to find the moon. First, he thought he found the moon hiding behind some rocks. Do you see that little thing there? But when he got up close, is it the moon? No, he just saw a little bit of a cloud. Then, he thought he found the moon hiding in someone's house. Well, it wasn't the moon, was it? You know what that is? Cheese. When Bear thought he found the moon hiding in a tree, he shook the tree and he cried, I found you, moon. But Bear was mistaken. All he found was a big balloon. Bear came by to visit. Will you help me find the moon? asked Bear. Sure, I'll help, chirped Little Bird. Bear and Little Bird looked and looked, but they couldn't find the moon. Well, he's not going to be in the garbage can, is it? They looked there anyway. So, they went to the forest to ask for help. I think the moon is lost, explained Bear. Can you help me find him? Don't worry, we'll help you, replied the animals in the forest. Together, they searched and searched, but they couldn't find the moon. What does the sky look? Let's see what the sky looks like over here. You see what I see in the sky? I see clouds. I see stars, but clouds too. But they couldn't find the moon. At last, Bear sat down and sighed. <sighs> the moon is lost, and it's all my fault. Then, Bear got an idea. He jumped up and cried, Okay, moon, I give up. You win. 
And just then the breeze began to blow again, and the moon came out of its hiding place. Look, chirped little bird. The moon wasn't lost. He was just hiding behind that big cloud. Bear was so happy, he danced and danced. Then everyone played hide and seek. Have you ever played hide and seek? It is a fun game. The only thing is that you have to work hard sometimes to find a place that nobody would think of, but you don't want to ever go into a place that's maybe not safe. It's a good game though. And I think they had a good time, don't you? Moon game. Well, it's time for us to say goodbye. I hope you come back next week. There's gonna be another good story waiting. It's time, it's time, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, boys and girls.